Good afternoon. I am Harshit, your tech host. Welcome to the Daily Tech News Bulletin. In today's tech news, India's IT industry paving the way for an AI-powered future. Moto G35 5G budget phone surfaces in benchmarks. Geekbench AI cross-platform benchmarking tool released. WhatsApp is bringing chat themes soon. Apple's future smart home robot could feature an iPad launch expected by 2027. Epic Games Store lands on iPhone, Fortnite returns to iOS in EU, Threads expands draft feature and introduces new tools and more. AI is reshaping the global landscape, bringing unprecedented opportunities for innovation across industries. India with its booming IT and IT-enabled services sectors is positioned to lead this transformation. India's IT and ITES sectors contribute 7% of the country's GDP and employ around 5.5 million people. This sector is crucial for accelerating AI adoption and enhancing economic development. India's IT industry is a global leader, driving investment and job creation not only within the country but also internationally in markets in the internationally in markets like the USA and Europe. With a 60 to 65% adoption rate, Indian IT is ahead of the national average of 48%. This high adoption rate signifies a robust embrace of AI technologies. Next, a new Motorola smartphone codenamed Manila has surfaced in the benchmarks. Initially revealed in May 2024 by Android headlines, the device comes with several model numbers XT24331, XT24332, XT24333, XT24334, and XT24335. This indicates that Motorola is likely planning multiple variants of the same model, possibly for different regions or carriers. Geekbench listing recently, the phone appeared on the Geekbench listing which was spotted by 91 mobiles. It will be powered by the Unisoc T766NM 5G SoC, a chip that uses ARM's 4X A76 Big Plus 4X ASS Minor Core architecture. Along with an ARM Mali G57 MC4 GPU, this SoC is already known to power HMD's Crest series. Geekbench, a name synonymous with CPU and GPU benchmarking tools, has introduced a new cross-platform benchmarking tool, Geekbench AI. This tool is designed to evaluate the AI performance of various devices from computers and smartphones to single board computers, making it the first widely available cross-platform AI benchmarking tool. The tool runs through several machine learning tasks using the TensorFlow Lite and ONNX runtime frameworks. This multi-stage benchmarking process allows Geekbench AI to measure the AI capabilities of each device comprehensively. The tool evaluates AI performance by measuring the device's ability to execute different types of workloads. These include image upscaling using super resolution, photo effects like bokeh for portrait photos and image classification tasks using mobile NAT v3 and YOLO v5 models. These workloads cover a range of common AI tasks that users might encounter in everyday use. WhatsApp continues to evolve with new features across its various platforms. Recently, it expanded its sticker selection through AI and Jiffy integration. Now, the company is working on a new feature that will allow users to customize their chat experience even further. The new chat theme feature was discovered in the latest beta version of WhatsApp for Android 2.24.17.19 by VA Beta Info. This feature will enable users to change the color of the message bubbles and the background wallpaper of individual chat threads. This level of customization will allow users to personalize their chats to match their preferences or the nature of their conversations. Apple is reportedly working on a groundbreaking device that could redefine the smart home industry. This tabletop device, which is still in the development phase, is set to combine an iPad-like screen with a robotic arm capable of moving the screen. This is not just another tablet, it's designed to be the central hub for smart home management. The device is intended to serve as a multifunctional hub for all smart devices in a user's home. Users could use it to control various smart home devices, conduct video calls and monitor their home remotely. The robotic arm allows the screen to move, making it easier to interact with the device hands-free using voice commands through Siri, 
Apple's voice assistant. Next up, we have after a long and highly publicized absence, Fortnite has officially returned to iPhone and other Apple devices. The popular battle royal game was removed from the App Store in August 2020 following a high profile dispute between Epic Games and Apple over App Store policies and payment systems. This legal battle resulted in the game being unavailable on iOS for nearly four years. The reintroduction of Fortnite to iOS in the European Union is made possible by the EU Digital Markets Act. This legislation mandates that tech giants like Apple allow alternative app stores on their platforms, increasing competition and offering consumers more choices in the mobile app ecosystem. This law has been a game changer in enabling Fortnite return. At last, Threads now allow users to save multiple draft posts up from the previous single draft limit. This change enables users to work on several posts simultaneously and finalize them at their convenience. Users can store up to 100 draft posts, offering greater flexibility for content creation and planning. New insights for content include metrics on the number of views, reposts, and demographic data such as age, gender, and location of followers. This data helps creators and businesses understand their audience better and tailor their content accordingly. These metrics will aid in optimizing content strategy by highlighting what resonates most with the audience. This is Harsha signing off. Don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe to IT Voice for all your tech updates.